Okay, so you work with lighting every day, right? But sometimes these polar curves that you see, they're just confounding. You find them in photometric reports and software. Well, look at this stuff. Uh, the blue line, vertical plane through horizontal angle, 90 degrees. How about the 0, 0181? Oh, a different shape. Well, the red one is the one that really confounds people. So what have we got there? Horizontal cone through a vertical angle at 40 degrees. Why is this a cone? What if the 20 degree one is a completely different shape? Oh my. Well, here's a simple video that will help you understand what this stuff really means. So let's start by looking at a typical 1x4 fluorescent in plan view. Then we'll rotate up into 3D and spin it around a little bit to get a better view. Now we're going to start looking at the vertical slices through the light distribution at various horizontal angles. 0 and 180. 0 on the right, 180 on the left. 30 and 210. 30 on the right. Notice we're moving counterclockwise. 60 and 240. 60 on the right, 240 on the back side. And 90 and 270. Fairly intuitive. Now the confounded red curves. Horizontal cones through vertical angles. Here's the 10 degree horizontal cone. Notice through the 10 degree vertical angle. Now the 20 degree vertical angle. Mapping intensity at 20 degrees. Now we're mapping intensity at 30 degrees to get the horizontal cone at 30 degrees. 40 degrees vertical. Starting to look like a cone. Now 50 degrees vertical, and on up to 60 degrees vertical, where when you look at it in plan view, it's not very intuitive. But you see it in 3D and it's like magic. And that's all there is to it.